A simple way to make your storyline courses look more professional is to add animations to the buttons that you create. In this example, I have two buttons and when I click on them, they show layers and there's no animation whatsoever. Here are two simple ways that you could animate these buttons. One is to hover over it and when you hover away, there's a simple animation that appears on that button. And on this one, the button gets larger as the learner hovers over the item and when you hover away, goes back to its original size. Let's take a look at how these are built. Let's start with the first button and that wipe animation. This button currently only has a single state, just a normal state on it. I'm going to copy this entire shape so that I can add it on top of itself in the hover state that I'm going to create next. So I'll go ahead and do a control C. Now I'm going to come down to edit states, add a new state and create the hover state. I'm going to now paste the item that I copied, which is that entire shape, right on top of that item in the hover state and move it over so that it's exactly aligned with the original object. I can use my drawing tools to change the color of this shape. And this is only for my hover state. So maybe I'd like it to be a dark blue on that wipe entrance and exit animation. Now I can come up to my animations tab and technically I have two items in the state of this object. I have the original button and I have the item that is in the hover state that's going to entrance and exit animate. I'll choose an entrance animation and let's use the wipe animation. And it's going to entrance animate by wiping from the left and we'll shorten up the timing to be 0.25 seconds. We also want it to exit, so I'll do an exit animation, and we want it to go the reverse direction, so wipe exit animation. This time it's going to come from the right and same timing of 0.25 seconds. I'm done with my hover state, and we can see what this looks like. When I hover over the button, I have that entrance animation, when I hover away, the exit animation. My second option is even easier. This one will use an emphasis animation to make the button larger when the user hovers over it. I have topic two selected and I'll add an emphasis animation. For this one, we're going to have the item grow and we can choose how much larger than the original size it's going to be and I'll just choose medium and adjust the timing, the duration of that emphasis down to something like 0.25 seconds again. When we add an emphasis animation, Storyline automatically creates a trigger, and that trigger is to emphasize the item when the user clicks on it. But we want our emphasis animation to happen when the user hovers over the object. So I'll just double click on this trigger to edit it, and triggers answer two questions. What do we wanna do and when do we wanna do it? And our when isn't correct here. We're gonna change that from when the user clicks to when the mouse hovers over. I also have the option to restore the item to the original size when the user hovers out, and I'll leave that checked. I can click OK, preview the slide, and make sure that my emphasis animation looks the way that I want it to look. When I hover over the button, it gets larger, and when I move my cursor away, it reduces back to its original size. That's two simple ways that you can add animation to your buttons in Storyline 360.